when you multiply radical expressions that happen to be binomials, you want to use the FOIL. Remember, FOIL stands for multiplying the first terms, then multiplying the outer terms, then multiplying the inner terms, and finally multiplying the last terms. After you complete the FOIL, then you may need to simplify the resulting expression. Multiplying the first terms here, we get 2 times 1 to give us 2. We multiply the outer terms, which would be 2 times minus 5 square roots of 3, which would give negative 10 square roots of 3. Next, we would multiply the inner terms, which would be 4 square root of 3 times 1, which would give us a plus 4 square roots of 3. And finally, we're going to multiply 4 square root of 3 times minus 5 square root of 3. First, we multiply the whole numbers. 4 times minus 5 gives us minus 20. Then we will have to multiply that by the result of the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, which gives us 3. At this point, we need to simplify this expression, recognizing that the 2 and the negative 20 times 3 are constant numbers. Simplifying this, we would multiply here first. Negative 20 times 3 is negative 60, and negative 60 uh, plus 2, or 2 take away negative 60, would be a negative 58. And these two radical terms are like terms because they have the same index. They happen to be square roots, and they have the same radicand. Negative 10 square root of 3 plus 4 square root of 3 will give negative 6 square roots of 3. So after multiplying the two given radical binomials, we are left with negative 58 minus 6 square roots of 3. Remember, when you multiply radical expressions that are binomials to use the FOIL method to help keep you straight.